Alright, welcome back to the next Juno New Origins video. This time we are doing a patch notes rundown. Juno just released the version 1.3.2 beta to Steam and I checked it out. So let's get a nice look on what is new. So, I think one of the two major things here is that they added a new moon to Serja. And it's named Ort. Or however it's pronounced, I, I'm not sure. Um, two O's R D. So, yeah, it's a proto Earth covered in craters with liquid water in its equator and it has rings. And the most fancy thing I think about it is, it is orbiting the Juno Sergia Lagrange L2 point. And thus it's being in a constant position. And that leads to it having a constant partial eclipse. That is super awesome. And we'll just have a look later. So as you can see here already, uh, they also introduced some new settings for PCs. Mainly the Ultra preset. That is super nice and it introduces like an ultra preset which cranks everything up to the maximum and it gives you some warnings about uh, if you enable this then you will uh, have once only one time but uh, you will have uh, really high load times when you first load a system or a safe. I think this is for creating shaders uh, and stuff. So the second important thing here is that they did a lot of graphical improvements. They improved the ground detail on Serger. They improved the skybox, which looks way, way more better than before. Um, and yeah, they uh, cranked up all the settings and it really looks nice. So that's for new stuff and improvements. But they also did a lot of bug fix and tweaking stuff mainly related to career mode and they fixed apparently a lot of bugs with career contracts especially i'm happy about hearing that they fixed some bugs related to the space uh, port esperanza because a lot of you have written in the comments on my videos that they have issues with the contracts like the payload not being recognized and stuff and hopefully these are fixed with the new patch and of course, in this video, we are going to visit the new moon of Serja, Ort, of course. So be prepared for a quick time lapse on how to get there. You have seen that multiple times, nothing interesting there. But once we are there, be prepared for some nice visuals. So here we can see the new or updated map view graphics. Uh, I hope you like it and see a difference. Let me know if you see a difference. Look at this. There we can see it. Tiny, tiny in the background, but we can see the rings already. That is going to be interesting. Ah, that's just beautiful. We can see the rings, we can see the uh, ocean that spans the equator, we can see a lot of the craters already, some of them are filled with water. Beautiful. And there we have it, the partial eclipse. There is Serja right there in front of Juno. Uh, can you see it in the video? Well, let me try to zoom a bit. Look at this beauty. 
the lighting effects, the ocean, the craters, some of them are filled with water, the rings, uh, that is really beautiful. They did a really, really good job there. And I think now let's try to land and see the surface. All the time I was asking myself, does it have an atmosphere? And as you can see in the blue glow on the horizon there, it does. It's quite thick actually. As you can see, it slowed us down already to under 300 meters a second. And yeah, the heat buildup was not so huge, so that's fine. But it's, yeah, thick enough to slow you down and to use parachutes. As you can see, something is wrong with my parachute, not properly deploying, but hey, wow. We were slow enough so that we could make kind of a landing. Not everything exploded, right? Uh, our command pod is still intact. Some solar panels, <laughs> right? Anyway, we are at the surface. Yeah, it looks like very deserty. Um, some sprinkles of crashed vehicles on the floor uh, but anyway if you zoom out a bit we can see those craters we can see some ridges we can see some water popping up and if we zoom out a bit more we can also see the equator ocean really really nice now there is one final thing left that we need to talk about in the patch notes they say detected a strange anomaly approaching the system. I... I don't know. I haven't detected anything, <laughs> right, during this quick mission. I have no idea what they're talking about. What could it be? A new... comet? Maybe? Aliens? Uh... What else? I have no idea. If you have any ideas on what it might be, a strange anomaly, then let me know in the comments. I'd be really interested in what it could be. As I said, I have looked throughout the mission various times through all of the skybox. Couldn't make out anything suspicious. Pretty, pretty interesting what they have in mind. And with that, that's the patch notes for 132. Uh, there is no final release date yet, I guess. So for now, it's just the beta version and we are still beta testing. But yeah, I don't think it's going to be long and then it's going to be out and you will all get it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.